I want service now. <laughs> Thank you, Jensen. I want service now. I want service now. They agree Thank with me. Thank you. Thank we you. want our service now. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So, Jensen, last year you were here, and it was still in the early innings, uh, early stages of AI revolution. First thing is that we are delighted to be partnering with your teams. There are, as Jody has shared, multiple meetings every week, and we have collaborated. We are using you for building our models, training our models, and then inferences via A100 and H100s. Fantastic collaboration between DGX, Superparts. H100 is six times faster than A100. Little expensive, but six times faster. And then... That's another way of saying six times cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. You, yeah. So the best for you. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome collaboration. And I know that's intelligent workflows. Uh, you have a high bar for your employees. You say you have to do extraordinary things to be extraordinary. How has ServiceNow rollout gone in the last one year at NVIDIA? Yeah, for, first of all, I'm delighted to be here. Uh, ServiceNow uh, is the first enterprise software company that uh, started working on a full stack generative AI uh, platform. Uh, you know, we're going through a major platform shift, accelerated computing and generative AI. Uh, every layer of computing is being transformed from the computing infrastructure, the processors, to the acceleration libraries, to pre-trained models. Uh, NVIDIA has been pivoting into this direction for some time, and it was incredible that you saw the same vision, that we saw the same vision and worked together to do that. Uh, from pre-training the models, uh, to aligning them, guard railing them, uh, optimizing them for uh, the performance and the latency and the, the cost and the throughput, yeah. uh, to the packaging of these things into microservices that we call NIM, so that you can run it uh, in every cloud, including on-prem, uh, to building services now. ServiceNow's only infrastructure, own yeah. infrastructure, so that you could deploy these, uh, have a sandbox for your engineers and our engineers to collaborate in, as well as providing the service to your customers. I mean, across the entire stack, you have, you have really reinvented ServiceNow. It's really quite amazing to see. That's, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. And, and just so, you, so, so everybody know, uh, we also are built on ServiceNow. That's correct. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Every morning, I, I wake up, and the first thing I say is, I want my service now. <laughs> and CJ just jumps right to it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, Jensen, you know, we have seen big shifts, personal computing to cloud computing to mobile, but the AI shift seems really, really accelerated yeah. and very fast. How should our customers think about where to use AI, not just in general, you know, you have healthcare companies, financial services company, manufacturing companies, uh, life sciences, how should they think about AI and what will be possible with AI in the next two to four years? Yeah, one of the things that's really happening, CJ, is, is um, if you look at classically Moore's Law advancing 10 times every five years, 100 times every 10 years, over the last 10 years, AI has scaled a million times. Mm -hmm. First of all, you gotta take a step back and ask yourself, if something is moving a million times faster every 10 years, what should you do? Right. And we're talking about the, for the very first time, the production, the manufacturing of digital intelligence. We used to manufacture electricity. Um, the last industrial revolution was the manufacturing of software, something that nobody understood that you could manufacture at scale, and we manufacture software at scale, and now we're manufacturing digital intelligence at scale. Yeah. Now, the rate at which this technology is moving is so, so fast, the first thing you should do is instead of looking at the train you know, from the side and trying to figure out why the train is moving faster and faster, get on the train because yes. on the train, it's not moving that fast. That's when you're on the train, yeah, it doesn't move that fast. Now, of course, one of the things that, that uh, you, you've already shown in, in, uh, in the work that you guys are doing from under, one of the reasons why the technology is, is being adopted so quickly is because we've transitioned from instruction 
driven computing, which is coding, instruction driven computing, where very few people can do to intention driven computing, which is intelligence, interacting with somebody through intention. And so even if you can't express, I mean, it's very often that when I'm trying to get help, it, I'm not able to explain exactly what the problem is and how to express the help. Yeah. And so now with ServiceNow being able to have the intelligent assistant, you don't have to be exact in, ex in how you precisely describe the problem. ServiceNow understands what the problem is. And so I think that that's really, really something to consider that every aspect of computing is going to go from in instruction driven to intention driven. Yeah, and you guys have done some amazing work. We want to show you a very quick demo. As you know, that NVIDIA is really, really good, really, really good at graphics. And for a certain class of users, they would like voice to text rather than text. So, Amy, quickly, we can show the demo. Okay, yeah. let's do it. Let's do it. So this is a customer service example, and we know that our customers want to deliver seamless customer support, especially in the moments that matter. So imagine your home and your Wi-Fi is moving incredibly slowly. It's down to a crawl, and you're the presenter in a critical meeting. You need service immediately. I need to contact customer support right now to see if I can upgrade. Now, normally, I do this on my mobile phone. This is a live demo, so I'm going to be talking to customer support through this headset right here. Hi, Amy. I am your ServiceNow assistant. How can I help you? I'm having a hard time downloading files, and my internet is sluggish. Can you help? I can see that your Wi-Fi service is working correctly. However, you have the 150 megabits per second package, the slowest connection speed we offer. Would you like to upgrade? Yes. Give me the fastest connection you have. I can upgrade you to our highest speed of 800 megabits per second, which costs $60 per month for one year. You can save $60 a year, one month for free, if you choose this service for the next two years. Sounds good. I'll take that two-year package. I have a credit card on file and can process the upgrade right away. Is it okay if I use the credit card ending in 6304? Yes. I have upgraded your service immediately. Enjoy the fastest Wi-Fi we have. Thanks for choosing me to help you today. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you very Goodbye. much. That was a live demo between ServiceNow <laughs> language models and NVIDIA's digital avatars. Jensen tells me the teams are working really hard for a certain class of users for customer service, voice to text or text back to voice will be a real thing. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, obviously, there's a lot of different ways to get and engage a digital uh, intelligence. And of course, text is one way. Um, in the future, you'll be able to interact in a whole bunch of other ways. And, and one, of the, one of the really interesting ways is digital humans. And so you're going to see uh, a lot of different applications of this in time. Thank you. Jensen, can you inspire us in, with AI five, 10 years out? Understood the instructions, how fast the things are moving, the cost is becoming cheaper. What would be possible with AI in whether how work gets done or some of the big inventions that we thought are still not even possible? Well, there's a whole bunch of things that the industry is working on that we're working on together. Uh, first, of course, uh, you mentioned already multimodality, the ability to associate uh, information that is uh, embedded inside different modalities uh, coming together so that you could find greater insight across the modalities. This is no different than cars uh, that are using cameras and radars and LIDARs at the, same at the same time, trying to better perceive, better understand the environment through multimodality. That's one. Uh, another is uh, today, most of the AIs are one shot. Uh, you prompt it with something, and it generates instantly yep. in, uh, uh, the recommendation. Uh, in the future, uh, AI will be multi-shot. It will be reasoning-based systems just as we plan through various complicated uh, scenarios, uh, it will do some planning itself. And so you're gonna have fast thinking AIs like we currently have. You're gonna have a multi-step reasoning AIs uh, that will be coming along. Uh, these types of AIs uh, will become increasingly agentic. Uh, you, and you demonstrated some early examples of this as well. Uh, AIs that, takes a, uh, that uses tools 
AIs that works with other AIs, AIs that access Correct. information Sorry. that they have privilege and access to, um, access control to. And so in the future, AIs are going to be like employees in our companies in the sense that our employees work with your employees. Yeah. And so our AIs will work with other AIs. Um, and uh, we'll have consulting AIs, we'll have specialist AIs, we'll have generous, gen uh, generalist AIs. But one of the things that's for sure, uh, ServiceNow is in such a great position because this is where our employees, is the, the platform of our employees. This is the operating system of our company. And I've always hoped that NVIDIA would become an AI. And I, I now realize that what I need to do is make you an AI and we'll use ServiceNow. That's, that's, that's very awesome. So Jensen, this AI revolution would have not happened if it was not for you and the teams at NVIDIA, the greatest innovator, Thank you for being here, sharing your vision with our customers. Please thank Jensen Wang for being here today and thank inspiring you. all of us. Thank you so much. Thank you. I want service now. I want service now. I want service now. Thank you.